What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. I just wanted to make this quick video to address a question that I keep getting about the Quad Cortex, and that is, can you capture a plugin? Yes, you can. <laughs> Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do here is I wanna go into the Quad Cortex, go to a new neural capture, and then we are going to set up according to this diagram here. Now this is where it gets a little bit weird. It might get a little bit confusing for people, but I am using an Apollo Twin Duo. This will most likely work with your interface, although you may have to change a few things, but the concept is still the same. So we're going capture out into input one on the Apollo Twin Duo. And then next we're gonna need a return. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go out of output three on my Apollo Twin Duo, and I'm going to plug that in to input one over here on the quad cortex, which is where we will be returning the signal that we are capturing. We're gonna hit next, confirm we have everything hooked up correctly. Now let's go over here into the computer. I'm capturing the Nalix Pectifier. It is a free plugin. A lot of you guys were suggesting that I check this guy out, so I'm checking it out now. Now, since this plugin is a preamp only, I have the Miko plugin loaded up, and the reason that I have this loaded up is so that I can actually hear myself and dial it in with a cabinet. We are not going to capture the Miko plugin. Now I'm also using Reaper to load up this plugin, but this should work the same in any digital audio workstation. Uh, we're gonna wanna open up our routing here and we're gonna add a hardware output and we're gonna add line three. And now you can see on the quad cortex, I have an instrument level and an input one level. <laughs> Now I just want to dial the plugin in real quick here. I think that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna bypass the Miko plugin here so that we are only capturing the Nalex. I wanna check my levels here again real quick. Pretty good right about there. Let's start the capture. and it's gonna make all sorts of great alien noises. I will speed this up so you don't have to sit through it. By the way, how are you guys doing? Hope you're having a great day. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. Really appreciate it. So there's the capture from the Cortex. Here's the reference. Let's just go ahead and do one of these. We're gonna save this guy. Now we're gonna exit the neural capture. Uh, I'm gonna hook this guy back up the way that I would normally have it hooked up here. And then we're gonna go in here where you're going to add our neural capture. Pectifier, there it is. Let's add in a cabinet as well. 90s oversized V30 rectifier cabinet. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just build a full signal chain here. Let's throw our adaptive gate up front. Of course, we can go in here into the cabinet and we can adjust these microphones. Sounds pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and boost this also and see how that works with a plugin. We're just gonna add in the normal green 808 drive. We'll put that up here and we'll dial it something like that. Sounds really killer and even boosting it sounds pretty much the same as if I was boosting the plugin or an actual amplifier. So fun little bonus fact there is that yes, not only can you capture a plugin, but you can also boost it. It sounds pretty good. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully I answered your question in this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.